Of course, when the company closes, Cornette can spend more time focusing on the WWF, not only just doing the managerial stuff, but boy, he's a major player behind the scenes. And his fingerprints are all over your run there. Just first of all, getting you in the company. Mm -hmm. Uh, Everybody knows that those uh, early Mankind vignettes with the rat, that was actually Cornette's pet rat. Yep, yep. And um, I think even the Mandible Claw is a Cornette. Corny, I remember talking to Corny. um, Maybe it was in 90, I don't remember what year it was, but probably, probably 92, 93, expressing that uh the the elbow off the ring apron was becoming more and more difficult to pull off on a regular basis and you uh you ultimately wanted a finishing move you could put on anyone anywhere at any time and that's where jimmy told me about the history of the mandible claw and dr sam shepherd the real life physician upon whom the uh the tv show and later the movie the fugitive was based and how uh, Sam Shepard, whether he could not go back into medicine or would not because of his notoriety, uh, he was not guilty, but not, he wasn't judged, he wasn't exonerated, that might be a state type of thing. You're not guilty, but you're not exonerated, and he wasn't until decades later. And so he developed the mandible claw, a nerve hold, uh, based on his knowledge of the human anatomy, and Corny thought that would be a good hold for me. Pitched it to Bill Watts. He went with the why wouldn't I bite your damn fingers off? I went with its paralyzing nerve hold, finger, you know, tongue underneath the tongue, underneath the point of the chin simultaneously. Uh, dismissed it out of hand and uh, I had it in my back pocket for when I met with Vince. And I just talked about, uh, w- about the Mandible Claw with Dr. Baker, DMD, and how we both loved the fact and how I sold Vince on the fact that it was one of the few, if only holds, where both facial expressions could be in the same camera shot. Yes. And that's what makes it great. So Britt pulled up a handful of photos showing that, uh, and she had that little mischievous, naughty smile that instantly endeared her to everyone who watched the show. I didn't have the same look, but I had a, I had a look. And I loved the idea that you could be in there and you could make noises and you'd be right in there. And, you know, I'd tell people, you know, how to properly sell it because some guys you know sell like a like a, a bug on the ground after an extermination and it was just uh it, man that 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 move added a year or two to my career and uh many a good man went down to it undertaker agreeing to sell it was probably it's the pivotal deal. point you know like owen i didn't understand this uh until i read uh his wife's book after Owen was gone, that Owen thought it had a sexual component to it. What? And I never ever perceived it that way. This, you know, the this is before the sock. This is, you know, the two fingers in the mouth. And uh, that's why, if you look at the match I had with Owen, like in '97, I beat him with a pile driver, which I, you know, I did pile drivers, but never won a match with a pile driver, and I was fine with that. But I think if Undertake, if Undertaker hadn't been so willing to uh, let this, you know, kind Other of... Other people would have pushed back. Yeah, they might have pushed back on it. But once you have Undertaker doing it and selling it... Who are you to argue? Exactly. 